<laughs> okay, I'm sure he's recording. He's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. All right, let's wait for him. Yeah, let's wait for him. Sir. Um. Sir. Sir. <clears throat> Sir. What? Are you kidding me? He's not coming back now. All right. Well, the gag's uh, ruined. Whatever, <laughs> Greg. Yeah, let's see, Greg. Where am I going? All right. There's, there's stuff. You gotta I... kick lens the the. Oh, you're gonna look around first. I'm gonna look around. I'm look with your eyes. I'm looking respectfully, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. oh, hey. Hey, bud. Yeah, that's the dude. He's oh, alright. This is a woman. He's just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know. We don't know, but the shoes. We don't know. The shoes seem like not a good fit for this environment. <laughs> that is true. Come on, come on. Oh, man. Oh, Rip. God, I want to disappear like that when I die. <laughs> right? This has burrowed too deep. Just fade Ripping away. It out rips them apart. Wow, that was... Jesse, over here. Horrifying. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, back on the adventure. I'm gonna look yeah. around first, though. <laughs> Uh. There you go. Hell yeah. Oh. Well, it's past a minute. We're fine. There you are. Alright, here we go. Urban legends. Summary. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We can recognize certain redacted. Informed by our own redacted and popularized by our media, we have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted. Our bureau made an anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear events elements of popularized folklore AWEs that only occur on redacted a pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted the ass <laughs> these details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief rent free <laughs> <laughs> Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 493-6942 for full report. Okay. So what, what's some urban legends? Is that like... Is that like Nessie? Yeah. Is that an urban legend? The Jersey Devil? Jersey Devil. Um... I guess like anything in... in uh... Like, you know, part of the the town speaking, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Well, they failed on all fronts, because I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not really anyone around. They're all possessed. In the true business owner spirit, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. Untrustable. We are mm. proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. <gasps> I like that United States is a horror. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner psychological assessment. If their responses are, are within the acceptable range of deviance, See the provided scoring sheet, then redacted immediately. 
Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. <laughs> then kill them immediately. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. <laughs> I love all these like. Y'all show up here. What? Y'all sus. <laughs> yeah. I guess the paint like. Do the paint nice paintings change? Cause like, if I'm looking at Trench, he looks like the type of mm. man mm. who would have a bunch of like scenic cowboy paintings. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, they obviously didn't. Now Jesse, director. Well, maybe she's got a little country in her too. <laughs> you got a little country, a little rock and roll. We're all a little country. <laughs> all right, banging tunes. Yeah. I could really get down to this one, folks. That was it. Okay, I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> Nobody look at me. I know it's. Ugh, They're not. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking at the ceiling. Oh, this is a. Uh... This is Emily's office, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, this is because this is. Cool. This is Darling's. One of his several seven offices that I don't know I anything know, about. Right? I don't know what about it. I just, you know, we haven't gotten there yet. Genuinely, before I cleaned my room today, this is what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that. There was no letters. What we got in here? Technological limitations of the oldest house. Summary, the oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive in the is the inability to use certain uh, technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. And the power of collective unconsciousness, oh, well, unconscious, is taken into account. It could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the culture. Roll redacted for the oldest house to redact them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. The technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the redacted to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Redacted agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Refer to file 419-1935 for file full reports. That's why y'all use them pagers. <clears throat> yeah, but you're not supposed to bring pagers in here. Oh, yeah. So, wait, any of that stuff gonna blow up in your pocket, then? Well, maybe they just have more fun and exciting ways to ruin your life. <laughs> See, they send, like, message tubes, but how reliable are the tubes if she's shifting? A fair point, yeah. Uh, this Especially is... if it's happening that often. Yeah, this is Tomasi's. Oh, uh, okay. Office. That's another come into play later. Assuming you don't like know anything about this game, which I highly doubt is not the audience that would look at this. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Um, tunes. <clears throat> can't find your office? Watch your step. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. That's a security guard. What? <laughs> Why is his life in your hands? He's a security guard. Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Wow, we love that. We love that. Business. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels Where's your office. Yeah. Take it away. 
All right, listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Is Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. The man needs to empty his bowels. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, health boost. We haven't really shown the menu at all for like the upgrades, right? Yeah, so you get the personal mods going. Yeah, yeah. And then you can add mods later for yeah. stuff you get. <clears throat> Grip, uh, weapon damage. Get that damage! Uh, always go for damage. Or health. Or health. Depending on how bad at the game you are. <laughs> uh, compiled by FPC accounting department. Major staff. Staffing, surveillance, redacted, data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, mold removal, HQ, livability cost, for cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5 for 5 year comparison sheet, chart, chart, <laughs> see page 9. This is very, very in tune with office life. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I know this is an office, but usually, like, games don't, you know. Yeah. Give you more that mundane. They don't give you a financial sheet. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pope. Do I need to talk to you? All right. Pope. I can't cleanse that. I saw. I can't cleanse them. I Thank saw you, from director. literally fifty feet from Jesse. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was not looking. I was looking at my clipboard. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. All right, do it. Listen. All right. The bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, ordinary, 17 years ago. The bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. Ordinary. I've been looking. That's really on the nose. For a long time. <laughs> that's really, enough. I never realized. Maybe that's too much already. <laughs> I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think mm. he knew this was coming, or a suspect. Sure is. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something Who you just saw hot. dead on the ground. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it's it even with the lockdown in place. <laughs> we'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. We just saw his point office. about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. Cool. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> there's there's not literally the another guy. building like right there. there. Sometimes oh. there's buildings in my pool. Why am I here? I mean, if I there was ever going know. to be a place. 
yes. with a building in your pool. Brother, but there it's are draining. other reasons Pools everywhere. Too. Buildings everywhere. I said I was looking for <laughs> answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. This looks like they say I they didn't put Magneto imagine in. This. It does. I was trying to think world. of what it reminded me of. And yeah, that's totally what it. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Charles. I would like for this to be my... <laughs> I would like for this to be my office. Um, no, not for me. I, I want people to have to really work to get to where I am. Yeah, but like, there's darkness around you and you don't know what could be staring at you. That's true. Maybe I'd like what would be staring at me. Would you? you? Don't Maybe just a, a little monster. No oh, hello. I forgot to turn off the... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's my name. Did I need to talk to her again? Oh, I'll, I'll do that later. Yeah, I think there's like a bunch of different options. I can, uh, go get some work done. Yeah. Start your new job. Learn your new task. There it is again. A welcome message. I'm, like... I could probably spin a tune to this repeated message. Put a little... What? Like, like a beat behind it? Remix? Yeah, that's the word. On the on the hiss? Yeah. Incantation? Yeah. <laughs> that's gotta be out there. Somebody has to have done that, right? We gotta find it. Well, oh, this is good. I hear Tomasi talking. Um. I like said he was. Ooh. Some blood and paper on the ground. Um, that guy doesn't seem like he's ever That guy in the back. <laughs> Ooh, something to the side. That's what I thought, but where? I don't know. Come out! You face me! Alright, cool. Here we go. Kablamo. Uh, I, if I jump down, there's gonna be more down there. Yeah, and I you take falling damage, right? Yes, but I don't think I would have taken it from that jump. <clears throat> what does this say? You want to read this? Uh, week 83 report summary. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out Aztec Court, like... In and out. That just remind me of the burger place. It uh, sleep, <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy Bear Motel. <laughs> Silver Spurs Ranch. El Gato Bianco in. That's Blanco. <laughs> it says. Oh, Blanco? Yeah, it's Blanco. Is that what you say? Oh, Blanco in. I'm sorry. A Plus Lodge. Um, Expedentures. Accommodation. $831.29. Meals. $700. For, seven, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's a bunch of costs. <laughs> I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines? Mm -hmm. The boys in research. <laughs> the bo you know, the boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> 
Real bros share a bed, dude. <laughs> you know, when you and the boys do a ritual to identify places of power. Mini little whiskeys. <laughs> the mini bar, te like, co was costing them more than the gas money. I know. kind of small to you or is that just me? Uh, the bench? Yeah. Is it kind yeah. of, it's kind of short? Oh, yeah. My feet like, like perfect touch. size for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What do we have in here? An auditory <laughs> event occurred at the United States. Oh, I love this. The United States Embassy in Havana. Injuring the majority of diplomatic uh, staff station there, redacted deaths were reported, and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Self- wait, staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was- cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental u.s after formula is that an l or an i or one i think it's i.9 was recited uh, yeah i don't know we it's in who knows was recited in the vicinity a single cowboy boot began to vibrate <laughs> <laughs> Identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file AI85 for details. I'm gonna see the cowboy boot. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Those Havana Knights. <laughs> When your single cowboy boot starts to vibrate. <laughs> yeah, man, they're really going hard. They are enchanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's overpowering. Ooh, we can't go there. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Fine, I know when I'm not welcome. <laughs> When I'm actively taking health. Taking health. Where? I've never played this game before. I don't know where to go. You gotta find the communications department. Find the hotline. Dead letters. Doesn't that sound like a like a? 2000s emo band. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that dude got a shield. One could say it's an oppressive threat. <laughs> Would you? I'm feeling pretty oppressed in here. Right? I'm on 
on the ground. Let's see the patterns. The one is shifting. Falling. Uh. Let's travel. Communications are on the right track. Uh, I think there's a video that you would like around here. Oh yeah. Uh, your favorite part of this game? Oh, I love this. Not this is this not, is the best. Not this one specifically. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Floppy disk. I had a bright orange one. Of course I did. But it was beautiful. It looks this delicious. Is disc, of course, but what exactly Hello. <laughs> Fusion concepts. Like a you would eat a floppy disk? It's like a cheese it. A, a cheese it. <laughs> it is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. Mine was not that big. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, wow, you're so things clever. Telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched... That's so funny. Three dozen pencils. And once, don't throw the pencil at the camera. I mean, if I had to, silly boy, if boy, <laughs> silly boy. Uh, what else is? So like pitter patter of feet. <laughs> Machine like god. It. I like it. Mach hello. <clears throat> oh yeah, these the dead letters. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a dream and I built a thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his mind, his body. It doesn't say mine, it says heart in <laughs> his mind. You were like, I feel like his mind needs to be in there. Yeah, and oh, I was- Oh, but it's at the end. Yeah, yeah. You just, you, you switched it up. I was really channeling <laughs> it. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coals from my toaster and the fans plus the timing, timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would literally learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only baby mode. <laughs> God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate as on God. <laughs> on God, I had to use the dialing plate. Oh God. Uh, wow. This is like. I don't know what to make of that. That's like some of the characters you see coming in the library. <laughs> They're just talking. And you're like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> A single post-it. Trench. Dead letter. Dead letter approval to Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collections of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. Save the Postal Service, guys. <laughs> the, yes. the Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters of any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. 
That sounds like such a name, someone would be interested in this. <laughs> yes, of course, Bachwell. <laughs> Again! <laughs> the only- <laughs> the only voice I know is old British man. <laughs> of course! Do you even live, Master Way? <laughs> <laughs> You can have a go at this Mr. one. Mr. Gavna, <laughs> I'll call the police, but they never come to my house. <laughs> Got a problem. <laughs> and you gotta send folk to fix it. I caught my wife out of the sick and fish on the walls. <laughs> Homie, I don't know fish. what you're saying. <laughs> it sings when you hit a button. It's like the, the fish in that uh, McDonald's commercial. Oh, the fish you see in every old-timey diner. Yeah, but it's got the devil in it. Ugh. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish. You gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. <laughs> when can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Mr. Gapta. Governor. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> it's uh, a governor. Governor. What are devil Mr. songs? Governor. Hotline Bling is a, is a devil song. <laughs> yeah, what's a devil song? <laughs> Yeah. So Lord else. <clears throat> Dead, Dead presidents. presidents. Yeah. To whom it may concern, I'm being contacted by past presidents of the United oh. States of America. They <gasps> appear as spirit guides. They're giving... saying real racist shit. <laughs> <laughs> giving me their wisdom. John Adams what? keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't what? really understand them. They all have a lot of opinions. People uh, tell yeah. me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. Oh my god. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. <laughs> if you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. <laughs> great dead men. Giving me advice. There are some interesting, uh, dead men in my ear. I think you'd like to take a listen. Is that everything? Yeah, I'm going to communications, right? Right. Let's go, yeah. Or some more blood puddles. We won't worry about that. We're not looking. It's Kool Aid. Everything's fine. That that lady's chilling. Waste that chest. Undefined say? reading. Internet usage rules. Usage rules. Internet is not for social media use. No FBC materials of any kind may be scanned or uploaded. FBC email addresses are for work related correspondence only. Level 5 clearance required to access internet. If a cubicle Oh my god. If a cubicle's black rock shell gets damaged, vacate it immediately <laughs> and alert Mr. Tomasi. If you notice any text in your work that you do not recall writing, vacate your cubicle immediately and alert Mr. Tomasi. Do not connect internal comm devices to the network. Printer is for communication department use only. Altered items are forbidden in the cubicles. I would hope so. Notify security of any breaches immediately. They may require internal lockdown. And it just immediately Lord. fell down. Level 5 clearance to use internet. Please, sir, uh, could I have a crumb oh. of internet? <laughs> This man is never looking at the camera. Only when he's like doing that pose. I'm playing hard for to the get. official picture. I don't want anybody <laughs> looking at me. 
anyway. Um, welcome to the comms department. Hello. Here, here to help. Yeah, it's Tomasi, I guess. You do not look like you're here to help. If you have any questions, please ask one of our friendly staff. Mustache says otherwise. I feel welcome here. <laughs> okay, alright. I think this guy's getting- he got off easy. He just got hit in the face. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Object of power. Like you think he's still alive? Bro. Yeah, he got he hit in the, the face. Blood. He's fine. I didn't see any blood. Oh man. <laughs> Gotta get to that oops. Upgrade first. So this is the floppy disk that Darling was talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> Not very happy that I'm here. Um, you're very happy that you're here. Uh, I'm so good As you said earlier. I'm so good with the floppy disk. <laughs> I am approaching with hostile <laughs> Come here. As is the floppy disk. Where is it? Hello? Come here, get out here, get out! Okay. Come here. Looking at it. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. All right, we'll see about that. All right, that. we'll see about uh, that. And thus we introduce the coolest ability. Uh, yes. I love violently throwing things. Foot <laughs> jig. Get it into the hole. <laughs> What else am I throwing in at? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're like, the board is like treating you like a child. When you do they like, really are. the block things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know these shapes. Put them where they belong. Ability gift burden. Really mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love the sound it makes. I never caught that. I gotta turn those off later. <laughs> there you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you oh, wanted, well, right? This will help me fight the hiss. A new ability, you gotta use it. I sure do. <laughs> Big boy. Oh well. <laughs> Wait, shit, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this with me for safe. There you go. Aww. A dang shield. Oh. 
Okay. Alright, end of video two.